Today we're going to be looking at a hooded baby cardigan. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel Casualistic and hi to my new subscribers. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, today we're going to be looking at uh, this little cute uh, hooded baby cardigan. Um, I will just say before we start, I haven't blocked this yet, so that's the main body of it. And then you've got the little hood at the back. Um, I haven't blocked this yet, so um, it, it does. It is a project that's going to need blocking, so I've still got that to do, but I thought you might like to see it anyway. Um, so the pattern I've used, we'll get straight on into it, um, is, called, is by um, Daisy Farm Crafts. It's called the Single Crochet Baby Sweater. So that's the pattern there, that's what her version is. Um, I've done the striping completely differently um, and I've used different yarns because that's what I always tend to do. <laughs> um, it's, um, it is a free pattern, um, I will put the link to it um, down below. Um, yeah, interesting pattern, not the best uh, written one. So I will say if you've never made clothing before this is not a pattern to start with, which I didn't realise when I until I got into the pattern um, and I got to a particular point and it became very obvious that it was not brilliantly written. Um, the one thing I will say for the lady, I'm not sure if it's got her name on there. I don't think it has. I think it's on the... Um, no, it hasn't. I don't think it's got her name there. No, she's just Daisy Farm Crafts. Um, she does acknowledge at the start of the pattern that she's not a pattern writer um, and that um, she's kind of learning as she goes along so she does acknowledge that it's not the best written pattern in the world um, so I can't fault her she's been completely honest in what she's written um, it really uh, most of the pattern is okay it's just the hood section that I just got completely lost um, I've made some um, adult garments before so I've, I've I've done a couple about two I've done two and a half so far um I've still got one that I started about a year ago I haven't finished um <laughs> and um so I had some idea of what to do um yeah but even with a little bit of knowledge it was still a struggle um so um you start um basically at this point here um, and you work top down. Um, she does tell you the, the placements for the increases to create the curves. So, so there's four different points where you increase. Um, I put stitch markers in as I went along so I knew where the increase points were every time I got to it. Um, and you basically work that down for a set amount of rows um, down to here. Um, and then you do a chain, you join the chain. Um, you skip so many stitches and join the chain on to make the armhole. It's pretty pretty straightforward um, way of uh, making cardigans. And then just work the way down. Now one thing I will say is, although it's a single crochet pattern, I predominantly did it in half double crochets. Um, the reason being is I work faster with half double crochets than I do singles. Um, and you wouldn't have had anything to see if I hadn't have done it that way. Um, <laughs> so it was kind of uh, trying to get something done so I had something to show you. Um, so the first, um, I think it was three rows I did in single crochet at the top here. Um, the rest are all in doubles, uh, sorry, half double crochets. That's US terms, um, which half trebles in the UK. Um, yeah, created the armhole, worked um, downwards. Um, now the pattern, the striping I've done is I've done five rows of pink, three rows of yellow and two rows of white and I've worked that right the way down. Um, I added um, extra three rows I think it was um, on the body length um, just so the pattern, yeah she, um, her pattern, you basically had 43 rows for the body um, I've added a couple of extra rows so that I had the five pink at the bottom just to even out the colour um, the um, ribbon um, for all the sections at the bottom um, around the cuffs 
um, are done in front post, um, single crochets, and then back post. So you're alternating between front post and back post in single crochet. That's US terms or double crochet in UK terms. Um, the sleeves, um, you op work the opposite way round to where the armhole, the direction of the armhole. Um, so if you'd work, if the stitches were where your chains and everything were, were that way, you, you obviously work the other way. Um, that did take a little bit of working out for me. I did, I did struggle with that a little bit. Um, I got there eventually. Um, and then you just work round and, you know, down in the round. Um, changing the colours as I went. Um, originally I stopped um, at this point here, so right there at the end of the pink, um, and I did two two rows of the ribbing doing the front and back post um, single crochets, that's US terms, double crochet in the UK. Um, so for the sleeves she basically did 14 rows. Um, when I finished it, I don't know if it's because I did a couple of rows on the bottom, but it looked really, really short. See, it doesn't look too bad there now, but it, I mean, it stopped there and it just looked really, really short. And I thought, that don't look right. And this is for a three to six month old. The pattern is, is just for a three to six month old. Um, there's no variations on that. So if you want um, a pattern that is going to cover a younger or an old age, then you will need to find a different pattern to this one. That's the only thing I will say. Um, so I ended up adding um, another four rows and doing um, yellow, white, yellow, pink in, in the ribbon. So there's quite a big section of ribbon on the arms. Um, the bit I got really stuck with was the hood. Now the instructions for the hood says um, I started with two chains in on both sides and worked single crochets in the same pattern, talking about how she striped it going back and forth around the neck. Um, I was a bit confused what she meant by two chains on both sides because I wasn't sure if she meant it had to join something or um, quite what it meant. I just couldn't figure it out. So I used the knowledge that I'd gained from the recent unicorn blanket I made and I worked with that sort of rough theory. Um, so I joined it um, at the top of the cardigan sort of worked out roughly where it would be um joined it and did a chain two i then um did hot on because i was working in um i did i think i did one row of one yeah one row of single crochet just to start it off um i took it took me about three or four attempts to work out because i was trying to work out whether i needed to put some decreases in to keep the shape or not um, and none of that worked so I just worked straight across and uh, worked out to the, where the same point was on the other side marked it with stitch marker and went across that point and I just worked um, across the um, top of it um, as one rectangular piece um, doing the same colour changes as before um, the hood she recommended 35 rows I can't remember if I did 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, I did do 35. I had to check that I couldn't remember what I'd done. Um, so I did the 35 rows. Um, and then what I did, um, so that I basically like what I did for the unicorn blanket. So I'm just going to show you this with the blank piece of paper. Um, so you, the hood was basically that shape when I'd worked backwards and forwards. And then I took the top two edges like that and sewed down this seam here and that created the hood so that's what basically have done it. exactly the same how I've done it for the unicorn blanket um, I whip stitched it um, her pattern says to single crochet it but I didn't want a ridge on the inside or the outside I thought the inside would be uncomfortable I just thought that would look a bit weird on the outside so I chose to whip stitch it but that's purely a personal choice um, and then for, she gave no instructions for the buttons, so again that was something that was lacking from the pattern. Um, so I've done uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 um, rounds uh, working from uh, one bottom edge up and round and down. Um, I did three colours, the first three colours in one direction. 
so I can't remember which way round I did it but I think it was from this side and I worked three up um, around the hood and then down and then the last two I started this side and went round and up like that and um, that was just to keep it from um, rolling out because it was starting to roll out um, and then what I did uh, is um, on the right hand side of the actual cardigan itself um, I did a chain two I measured it against the buttons I worked out where the where I wanted the buttons to be so I marked them with stitch markers roughly where, where I wanted them um, and then on the left hand side and then on the right hand side of the piece um, I sort of fiddled around and worked out how many chains so for me it was a chain two um, which I put in on the first um, sorry on the second round of so I did pink the first round and then uh, the yellow round which I did is where I put the chains in and then I did white yellow pink after that um, and then I stitched the buttons on the buttons um, I don't know where they came from because they were actually um, a gift to me uh, it was part of um, one of my Christmas gifts from um, Sean at Sean's Crafty Corner I will link her channel down below um, and she had these really these cute little um, apple shape buttons so I thought they were little, they were quite cute and um, I don't have many pink buttons left I think I've made so many girly things that um, I've just I've just run out I've got lots of boy colours but not not girls um, and though as you can see it's a perfect match for the pink so I couldn't have got a better match so thanks Sean I've been put to good use um, yeah so that's basically it um, I've made it probably sound really complicated it, it's a fairly simple pattern um, you could, one alternative, and she does mention this in the pattern, is you could make this cardigan without the hood, so you would just have like a little cuff bit sort of like that. Um, so you could do that, and I did contemplate doing that, but um, I was actually making this for my neighbour. Um, those of you that watched uh, my recent baby blankets um, video will, will have seen that there was um, a baby blanket that I did just very recently in these colours um, and this was some of the leftover yarn and because she paid for it I, I sort of wanted to use up as much as I could um, so that's how this sort of came about so um, I did enjoy doing it the, the hood was a bit of a headache I will admit um, but I did enjoy making the pattern so I mean if you were to do it without the hood I still think it makes quite a cute little cardigan um, and I thought well it's something that the little girl can grow into so um, this will be going to my neighbour because she's paid for the yarn she's got a great grandchild on the way in October um, so that will be going for her so the um, hook, ooh, the hook I've used um, is a 5mm hook this is a knit pro hook that Sandra very kindly um, sent me recently so that's already been put to use um, uh, I don't normally like handled hooks very much, but I have to say this wasn't too bad. Um, it's got a fairly decent throat on it, because um, I crochet quite a long way up the throat of the um, hook. Um, the grip grip is really um, soft and quite easy to grip. Uh, I have to say these are the lightest um, crochet hooks I've ever worked with. I've tried a few different ones. Um, it's definitely the lightest one I've ever worked with, so not, not bad. Um, they're by Knit Pro, so um, I do recommend them if you're um, looking for new hooks and you like the handle ones in particular. Um, so the yarn I've used for this project um, is basically the same as what I did for the baby blanket, but I will show you in case you didn't watch that video. Um, so the pink yarn um, is Signet Kiddies Super Soft DK. And the shade is 428 Pink right there um, and that is literally all I had left over from that project so I have used um, a complete ball uh, of pink um, I used up the scraps um, that I had left over from the baby blanket so I had some sort of med a medium and a small cake for the yellow and the white um, so the um, white is Marino super soft baby double knit and the shade is 500 um, and that is all I had left of the white and then the yellow is basically 
exactly the same mariner super soft baby double knit and the shade is 503 and i think it's called lemon i do believe there's the code there um and that's all i had left um and that was both of these were what i had left over from the baby blanket so out of four balls of yarn i've got a baby blanket a cardigan and the booties which will be in the next video um so I've done really really well um so there was it was would have been slightly more left over of these obviously if i hadn't made the booties but i've got booties out of it as well so i thought that was pretty good um these balls of yarn the mariners are usually around about pound 50 for the super soft baby um just because they are a softer yarn than the normal dk um, mariners got a lot rough rougher um in the last year than it used to be it used to be really soft even for the normal dk but unfortunately it's not now um so that's that's it um i hope i've explained that okay um it's a little bit tricky trying to explain stuff sometimes um but i will put the link for the pattern um down below um yeah so but just remember if you do do choose to do this pattern um you'll need to figure out how to do the hood for yourself if unless you can understand the instructions for that because i really couldn't um and remember that this cardigan is only um, written out in the pattern for a three to six month old uh, baby so um if you want any other sizes you really need to find a different pattern but i thought um you know it's quite it's quite a cute little cute little pattern so um she has there is another pattern i've got of hers that i might give a try which doesn't have a hood so hopefully it should be a bit bit easier um so i might do that in the next few weeks maybe um i'm on a bit of a baby kick at the minute not broody don't worry not broody in the slightest um i just like making little things because they're quick and easy to do um yeah so uh that's it for today um there really is no life update because i'm recording this on the same day as my last video um so sorry about that um but uh next week um hopefully i'll be able to record on tuesday will be the baby booties uh using the same yarn that i've done for this um that was with a will be with a video tutorial so if you particularly like using youtube video tutorials then you'll like this upcoming video um after that i don't know because i've got to start a project um i'm also working on a secret project for lucy who is lucy coates here on youtube um she's got a pattern she's uh, releasing fairly soon so i'm pattern testing for her so i'm trying to fit that in in amongst doing stuff for you um yeah i've got a few halloween ideas um like I said, I've said in my previous video, I don't really celebrate Halloween, but I do want to acknowledge it. Um, so I found a few different patterns um, that I'm going to be doing through the month of October. We'll be here before we know it. So, <laughs> yikes. Um, yes, yeah, so just to give you some ideas of things like toys and, and you know, things like that that, that you can uh, make for Halloween. Um, so that's it for today. Um, so remember until next time to stay well, happy crafting and until next time remember to stay true to yourself. Bye.